New on the night team, a popular singer in Rhode Island involved in a serious car crash in December is speaking out tonight for the first time. Yeah, it's so good to see him recovering now. Ron Giorgio suffered a skull fracture and is on the road to recovery. The night team's Molly Levine with his story live from Providence tonight. Hey, Molly. Yeah, Dan and Patrice, a large turnout at the George on Washington tonight. They had a celebration of life for the singer who says he's grateful to be alive, although he's not yet back on the mic. Thank God every day for, you know, just all of this positive energy around me. Lucky to be alive. Still a, a long road to go. Ron Giorgio, a popular Rhode Island singer. Lots of bells to be rung. You may have heard him sing on the hill once or twice before. You are no. Involved in a serious car crash in December. Started receiving texts that Ronnie was in a bad accident. I still get goosebumps. I'm sorry. Giorgio was singing at the Centerdale Revival in North Providence that night. Afterwards, he went out in downtown Providence to celebrate his girlfriend's birthday with friends at Fishco, a bar on South Water Street. On their way home, the car they were driving in was struck by another car. That he was going for emergency brain surgery. No other details about the crash were made available. <laughs> the well-known singer, no stranger to Alex Tommaso and the George on Washington. One of the rarest and finest young talent that I have come across in a long, long time. Tommaso says Giorgio approached him when he was only 19 years old. And he said, I wish I had the opportunity someday to perform at the George. You are the sunshine of my life. Felt by the community as a performer and a friend, close to 200 people showing up to the George to celebrate him tonight. Which is a testament to this young gentleman how much he means to everyone and how much he means to the community. I'm not back yet, but um, this is just a way for me to at least thank everybody in person. You know when you can have a mic in your hand again? I, I, I wish it was soon. I just, I, I can't say. I can't say. I just, I don't know. It's, it's all about recovery. So we don't know exactly when Ron can be heard and seen singing again, but we do know that there's a big community behind him wishing him well. I'm live in Providence, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News.